I'm always late to meet Julianne. We usually go for a coffee on a Friday, have a chat, get a catch up. So will we get another coffee? Um, no, I can't afford it. Will we go somewhere else? Still can't afford it. Is that because you're in? Yeah, I'm like £200 short. We're talking about moving in together, but all these changes are happening. I've been told that I have to make sure that my money for two weeks has to last for four weeks. It's a joke, how am I going to do it? Well, if there's money directly in my bank, then I'll just end up spending it. It just won't be me that's going to get in trouble, it'll be the both of us. And I'm really worried how that's going to affect our relationship. Do you know what we should do? Get some advice. Yeah, let's go and do that now. According to Julianne, the council is a good place to get advice about my benefits. So we hopped on the bus to go to the local area office. We've heard about all these welfare changes and we were just wondering how they were going to affect us. Especially because we're young. We've heard some really scary stories. So we're going to be asking how people like us on benefits will go under the new universal credit system. So you've came in to see us because you're worried about the welfare reform and how it's going to affect your future. Now with the universal credit, they're going to start paying every month. month instead Rather, of fortnightly. Yeah, what am I going to do in that two-week gap until it regulates? Right. It was good um, going to the council, got some advice and they'll keep us right. So that's a big worry off my mind. I'm really excited. I'm moving in with my girlfriend soon. She don't mind me being late <laughs> most of the time. If you need to find out more about welfare reform, whatever your age, come to a council office and ask for advice. <laughs>